guys and welcome back to HJW Gaming. In this video I'm going to be opening 130 Mathams with two guaranteed tier 3 invitations. Uh, as you see here I'm 10 away on this account and I'm 5 away on another so let's hope we can get something good. If we take a quick look at my wish list, you can see who I'm looking for. Uh, ideally I'd get either a Bayon or Sauron invitation as I don't have either of these unlocked currently but um, yeah, I won't complain either way, and hopefully we can get some good tier 3 loot. Though, first five Mathams haven't gone great so far, but next five we of course get our guaranteed tier 3 invitation, and the one we get on this account is Elrond, which isn't the worst in the world, as this account I do use Elrond, I have in respect 10, so this gets him about a third of the way towards respect level 11. Of course I would have preferred uh, probably Bayorn, as I said, or, or Sauron, but at least I've got a, uh, at least the invitation was for a commander uh, that I'm currently using, so can't really complain. In the next five I get another tier 3 uh, respect item this time uh, for the Witch King. And we seem to be on a bit of a hot streak at the minute. We get our first piece of golden equipment with the sword Dawn. Not something we're going to be looking to use. Another tier 3, or oh, another piece of tier 3 equipment actually. Wow, two, uh, two pieces of tier 3 equipment in the same five Mathams. That's an excellent opening. So we get both the Sword Dawn, which here we're probably not going to use. It only gives bonus focus uh, and bonus command as well. It's not something I'm looking to use. Similar with the Easterling Helm, which gives high amounts of commander defense, which isn't something I'm really looking to use. It could be decent on someone like Falgin maybe, but that's not someone that I use. In our next five, we do get our first tier 3 respect item for Sauron. As I said, I'm trying to unlock him. Very, very meta commander. Uh, and so I'm trying to get some of his respect items, so the more the better. And we do get another invitation, uh, this time at tier 1 for Agzok, who's probably one of the better tier 1 commanders. But more importantly for me, actually, I get two of these bone talismans, which are pretty great to see, as they do give bonus HP and attack. And I actually only had one of these coming into this, so I've got one fully strengthened for my uh, kind of backup squad to boost their attack, but I don't have it very well refined. So, uh, so yeah, those will both come definitely in handy. In the next 10, we haven't really got anything great again. We've just got singular respect items or purple equipment, but we do get a Gandalf the White's white robe cloth next. Uh, so 85 Mathams to go, and so far in the first 40, we've definitely... Uh, done well for ourselves with multiple equipment and invitations as well. In the next turn is just a bunch of respect items. Again, these tier 2 respect items I don't really I'm not really bothered by as most of my tier 2 commanders are sitting at respect 10 uh, just awaiting ascension, but I don't have the tier 3 items to ascend them unfortunately as it is incredibly expensive. We do get another ancient dragon scale here, uh, which is pretty good. And uh, talking about having tier 2 commanders waiting for ascension, you can see here we do get an invitation for Gandalf the Grey. However, of course I have them at tier 10. I think this is the second or third one I will have sitting in my inventory waiting for Gandalf's ascension. I just don't have enough uh, tier, tier 3 respect items. I think it's the Radagast item you need for Gandalf the Grey, and I just don't have any. Uh, here we got our first tier 3 respect item for Bayorn, which is great to see, and another tier 2 invitation... Uh, this time for Gothmog. I think Gothmog I still have sat at like respect 3. So actually that's quite useful to uh, to get him up towards respect 5 where he can do that siege. Either that or I haven't respect 5. But either way having the more skill points uh, is always useful. In the next 5 we get another tier 1 uh, invitation. This time for Ori to take him up to respect 2. Another commander that uh, is very unmeta and we're not going to look to use. And we do get another piece of golden equipment here in the next five. So that's our third piece of golden equipment uh, in about 70-odd Mathams. And this is the High Elf's Helmet. And in the same five, we also get another respect item for Sauron. So another brilliant five. And it looks like we're getting an invitation as well by the looks of it. So I, I, I don't have Glasha unlocked, but it appears I do now. So within that five, we have Glasha's Invitation, a uh, Flames of Mount Doom... And a High Elf's Helmet. That is another excellent 5 Mathams. So 80 down and we've got, you know, quite a few pieces of equipment here. A lot of invitations. If we could squeeze out another Tier 3 invitation I would be over the moon. But uh, 
can't ask for everything in life. We have had plenty enough already. Another tier one with Shagrat and a Mirkwood Bow with Divide and Conquer. Still got seven lots of five Mathams to go. And with the first of those, we do get the Thilding Coin, which you know, can be beneficial for pushing my, my Dane's respect up. Of course, Dane, very meta commander. I only have him respect 10, which, while sounds high, it's not massive compared to most people in this game in some of the campaign servers. Respect 10 definitely is on the on the lower side. You do see a lot of Zenith Danes kicking around. And we get an invitation for Dwalin as well. Only a paltry 120 respect, as I do have him ascended, but not all the way. But still, a useful amount of respect. We're not getting quite as lucky on these kind of back-end... Um, five Mathem packs but hopefully we can uh, get something else decent and we do we get another flames of mount doom so that's really useful we are getting respect items for the commanders we want which is great to see if we could get one more in the last 10 Mathems, i would be very very grateful because we are picking up a ton of purple items here as well uh, no more tier three respect items in this five so we've only got five left let's see if we do this one at a time see if we can get one more and we do we get a mirkwood honey Awesome. Couldn't ask for much more there. So another respect item for Bayorn. And we have three Mathams to go. Can we get anything else? Uh, we do get one more purple respect item. I'm not really expecting much else from the rest. Last Matham. See what we can get. Oh, we do get two tier two respect items. Not too bad at all. So we did, did end up with multiple respect items and um, yeah, and Elrond's own invitation. If we quickly open up our inventory, we can have a quick look at what we got through. Uh, the three items we got, I believe, were Dawn, the High Elf Helmet, and the Easterling Helm. Three items I'm probably not going to look to use. The High Elf Helm is probably the pick of the bunch out of these three. Giving decent unit attack and defense bonuses, as well as initiative and command. Now, that initiative and command can be quite useful with the unit bonuses for someone like uh, Gandalf the White, for example. But it's probably not something I'm going to look to use. But you can see we have a ton of tier 3 respect items now. Two Gandalf the Grey letters sitting around. Uh, but without further ado, we will move on to the next account. You'll see this is at 195. So the next five Mathams are going to guarantee the uh, tier 3 invitation. And we get Dane Ironfoot on this account, which is awesome to see. Now this account has Dane at respect 11, I believe. So... That is incredible, getting us about half, well, maybe a, a third of the way towards Respect 12. But one of the best tier uh, 3 invitations you can ask for. So between this account and the other, we have Dane and Elrond in the bag. That is incredible to see, can't ask for much more than that. Um, and yeah, if that isn't worth dropping a like, I don't know what is. So if you have enjoyed this video, please, please drop a like. It really helps with my engagement and getting my videos out there. And if you could drop a sub if you've enjoyed what you've seen, I do drop um, guides on commanders, etc. And there's a lot more coming in the future. Lastly, if you're looking to buy Mathams or any other packs, please check out my top-up link below, my affiliate link. It does help support the channel. And also you can get all of the gem purchases and bonus packs at significantly cheaper, depending on where you are in the world versus the apple store or the google play store so if you check it out below you can save yourself some money and help to support the channel and anyway with that i've been hjw gaming and i really hope to see you on the next one